like and subscribe no to the Shalom like the End to YouTube albums. channel. You make Apply some this sense. knowledge to the streaming your fee structure you in use today. stores for like $16, $17, and as an artist, you'll be lucky if you're getting 35 50 cent off your album. Okay, there are 100 points on the album. TLC had seven. Every point is equal to eight cents. All right? Seven times eight, 56 cents. That means every time an album gets sold, TLC gets 56 cents. So 10 million records, $5.6 million. Like your record sales, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't really get no money off your record sales unless you you own your, your, your company, you know what I mean? Your record company. Understanding how they recruit stuff and understanding about their masters and understanding who you pay back or how to get paid. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They just know they're doing their show money. That's when you start seeing real money, cause like, it's a like first of all, it's a pie that get divided all up. A typical record deal is structured something like this: the record label gives in advance, say, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to the artist to record an album. The your record label, you know what I mean? The, uh, the distributor, then uh, is the producer, the writer, the artist. The artist then records the album. Suppose that the album sells 500,000 copies at $10 each, yielding $5 million. The record label then takes their cut out of the $5 million, typically 85% of the total sales, leaving the artist with $750,000. That's a big pie that get broke up in that, in that 100% of whatever you doing but before the artist receives any payments the label first deducts the advance in addition the record label recoups other costs such as recording costs half the promotion costs half the video costs and tour support and now you have a record company saying pay me 25 or even 20 percent of your net profits from touring you have a manager who's saying i want 15 to 20 percent of your gross you have a booking agency who's taking 10 percent of your gross from the booking and they get so many they get publishing checks don't other don't understand the youtube checks don't understand the sour cloud checks don't understand other checks you could begin that's not just show money or whatever the case may be if somebody sample your records 20 years from now you want to be able to get paid from that this leaves the artist four hundred and twenty five thousand dollars in debt to the record label you like I got this rap and you get a beat from your man you put it down and you you put it out and it do whatever it go platinum you think you're gonna see all this money or you're not gonna be getting paid if you don't drop an album you're not gonna get paid but when you set your stuff up when you got residuals coming in no matter what it's because of the way your deal was structured mm. you got to structure your deal where you get residuals no matter what it ain't gonna happen like that because even if you're single going for four bucks you make four million off of that, but you only seeing some cent. Like your residuals gonna keep coming in. Like you can stop this year, but you're gonna be getting paid from shit from three years ago. Right, right. right. The rest of your life, right. Because you set it up right, but you're gonna be getting a hundred percent off of it, not a percentage off of your money. Ooh. That you gotta pay a hundred percent back. Mm. These cats getting a hundred percent. And then this debt gets carried on to the next album, the next album, and the next album. You may have a business manager if you're an established artist. You do have a business manager who is probably getting three to five percent of your gross of all the money that comes in. So the face record had spent about three million dollars on, on the second album. So that automatically gets deducted from the five point six million dollars before we can see a penny. Record company, first of all, you got the record company, you know what I mean, that's putting the album out and they controlling most of the equity that come, you know what I mean, from that album, all the money. You know what I mean? They 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 get and they percentage. They get probably more than sixty percent. You know what I mean? Because they putting it out as they brand, as they label. They paying for the people to distribute. You know what I mean? Your album and the distributors got to get their little piece and they break down from it. Your attorney also is on a percentage basis quite often, but not all the time. But when we are, sometimes it's the same as a business manager. You had to get your manager something, but your manager didn't tell you you got to pay money on the five million. By the time you're finished. On a typical date, a live engagement, an artist may be paying out as much as 70%. Your record label might gas you and might buy your publishing. Your publishing is what you eat off of. Right. How you going to collect that money when you're not the one that can sign off on that? Somebody else going to be getting paid off of that. Right. Which means they take home 30%, which is not a significant sum of money if you know, you're not making 50, 60, 70, $100,000 a night.
When you own your own publishing, that means you own the right to your lyrics. If when you sign your contract and you sign away your publishing, that means you everything that you write, you writing for this person because he own that. He own you. So it's like slavery. You like a slave to your label until you pay back whatever he gave you. Uh, advance or whatever they tell you that we assign you for this amount of money you might get a deal for three million and you got to pay taxes on three million but you walked away with 1.8 right hmm. 1.5 you say they sign you for a million dollars let me tell you how broke you'll get real quick first of all it's tax half yeah that's five hundred thousand right then and there boom say two million because a million that million dollars ain't no money but you got to pay three million so you got to think about that 1.5 that you're spending you really supposed to be paying that for taxes. Now yeah. you balled out. Now you got to get another check to make up for the last check. They give you $2 million. Now we have $2.6 million left to split between the three of us. Uncle Sam, you in a, you in a, you in a different tax bracket now because you're an entertainer. You know what I'm saying? So a step up. When you have that much money, you're in about the 47, 48.49% tax bracket. It's like, you so you know, taxes on a new check. Now you working check to check. Yeah, the check's big, but right. you're working for million dollars to million dollar checks. A five million dollar, five million dollar check because you get a five million dollar check, half of it go to taxes. So that immediately gets deducted to one point three million dollars. So they give you two million dollars after you in that forty, fifty percent tax brackets, you got a million. Now you got lawyers. You got lawyers that handle your business and the paperwork from your contracts. They might want anywhere between five and ten percent. We're gonna max out, say ten percent. So out of that million dollars, now you only got but you, you left with 900000 You know what I mean? You just got a $2 million check, and only two people got paid out of that check. You only got 900000 Now you got management. Your management take anywhere between 10 and 20%. So out of that 900000 they take 20%. That's 180000 out of 90000 So you take the math, you do the math out that. That's 720. You got 720000 out of that. Now your management got broke down, your lawyer got broke down, Uncle Sam took their money, you know what I'm saying? Now you got 720000 out of $2 million. You go out, you buy the crib. You get a crib, like, you know what I mean, 200000 you moving out the suburbs, because cribs in the hood right now, 150000 you damn near the projects. You know what I'm saying? So you go get a nice crib. Say you spend a quarter million on that, two fifty out the the seven twenty you got. You know what I'm saying? So you left right now with the two fifty. You probably got like four and some change left. So you go buy a little well. You can't. You go buy the. You know what I mean? The Benz. So get the six hundred. You know what I mean? You, know, you get that. What buck sixty, buck seventy, out of the four or something. Now you got three and some change left. The first thing you got to do is get a nice car. There's a hundred thousand. All your homies. And all your new relatives and your friends come around, so you're going to get jewels. You got to get your jewelry game up. My bracelet, I paid, what, I paid like 42 for this and about 30-something for this. So that's 40-something, 30-something, that's damn near 80000 That's almost a bean right there. You spent a half a million, a million on jewelry. The chain right there with the piece alone, platinum, everything platinum. My piece costs about twenty thousand, some shit like that. You gonna go get some jewels. So let's say you spend a hundred on the low ball side. You know what I mean? You don't go all out like me. You go get some jewels. You spend about, you get a nice watch. You gonna spend about twenty to thirty. You know what I mean? Nice chain, about twenty. Bracelet, twenty to thirty. You know what I'm saying? You keep it basic. Yo, after that, that's another bean, almost 200 out the four or something. You're down to a buck. So now you got, what, 300000 left. You got to get a place to live, and you don't have good credit because you're just coming from the street. So you got to drop more than 20%. So say you got a couple friends, you want to break them off. Birds in the hood, you get a brick. Brick, like, anywhere between 22. Now your homeboys think you got way more than you have, and you got to look out for everybody on your block. So put 50 to that. 26 and 30-something. So you get a couple homies a brick. Say you look out for like four of your homies, give them a brick. That's another bean. So you're going to spend 50 on fresh sneakers. You got to pop tag every single day. So put 50 on that. 100000 left. And you got the car. You got the crib. You broke everybody down. But you still owe that two million. You have an overhead where you have to maintain all these things every month. So now you might have 20000 in bills every single day. And you got a car note. And you got a crib that you got to pay mortgage on and bills. You broke within like four or something months. You is is ridiculous. So that's some real shit. And there it is. It's gone. There's no more money. It's a wrap. Your man is nothing.